This video is an animation showing how an image-guided surgery system links a preoperative image, usually a CT image or an MRI image, in this case a CT image, to the patient's interoperative anatomy. It allows you to navigate using the image as a guide or a map, as explained in pages 1 and 2 of the text and figure 1-1 on the left side. So here we see a surgeon with a probe pointing at part of the anatomy in the bottom left. And the computer sends a signal to the probe, which then sends optical signals throughout the operating room where it is received by a tracking system. These are infrared signals, so you can't see them with your eye, but the camera can see them. And by triangulation, it can determine where that probe is not only where the infrared emitting diodes are on the probe, but also where the tip of the probe is. This camera then returns a signal to the computer, which uses its internal map, which is a CT, in which there are fiducials or something else to identify positions on the anatomy to determine where the probe is located relative to the map the CT image. It sends a signal to the display where this position is shown in perhaps one, two, or three, or even four views of the patient. Here we see in the upper left a coronal view, in the upper right a sagittal view, and in the lower left a transverse view. In the lower right there's a rendering which looks like for all the world a 3D snapshot of the patient. It's in fact a rendering gotten from the CT image itself. You can see in that rendering that there are fiducials on the patient's head. Those fiducials were identified earlier. We didn't show that, but they were identified earlier in the OR by placing the probe sequentially in each of the fiducials. The computer then lines up the CT image so that it can show where the probe is located in the three views. The result is that the surgeon can track points in the anatomy that are hidden by overlying anatomy, but of course visible to the x-ray imaging of the CT.